The one password connect server allows you to securely access your one password items and vaults in your company's applications and cloud infrastructure. One common use case is being able to programmatically access secrets and then use them in your apps and CI CD workflows. In this quick start video, I'll demonstrate how to set up a self hosted one password connect server and I'll show two different ways to request secrets from it. So I have this production vault here with my secret item in it. This item has some credentials that my application needs, but I don't want to store them insecurely on disk. So let's set up connect to get access to them. I'm signed into my account on onepassword.com here. If I go to the dashboard and click on integrations, under this infrastructure secrets management section on the directory, I'm going to click other for my app's use case. I'll click on create a connect server. And for the environment name, I'll call it production and give it access to the production vault that I showed earlier. I could change this environment's level of access to the vault, but read-only is sufficient here. For the token name, I'm going to call that app. I'll set it to never expire. I'll give it access to that production vault, and again, it will have read-only access. When I issue the token, the connect server is created. I have this one password credentials.json file, which I'm going to download to my local disk, and I have this access token which I'm going to copy to my clipboard. We can see that the connect server for production here is now configured, but it's not deployed yet. So let's go to the docs to learn how to do that. If I go to get started here, you can see that we've actually already completed step one because we have the credentials.json file and we have the access token. So let's go down to step two to deploy the server. We're going to use Docker. I already have Docker installed on my local machine and we have this credentials.json file but we need an example docker compose.yaml file. So I'm going to go ahead and download that to my local disk and switch to my terminal. It's important to note here that the simplest and most straightforward way to set up connect is to have these two files co-located in the same directory, as we can see here. If I type docker compose up, this starts the local connect server. I'll switch to my API testing tool here. From the docs, I know that the host is localhost 8080 and I've gone ahead and pre-filled my vault ID and my item ID. If I replace this with my token and send the request, I can see that the values come back as I expect them to. I have my secret username here and my secret password here. Perfect. Another way to request secrets through Connect is using the 1Password CLI. I need to export two environment variables here for this to work. The first is OP Connect Host, and the second is OP Connect Token. Using this one password CLI command here, specifying the vault as production and the item name as my secret, we can see that we can get the values back here as well. My secret username is right there, and my secret password is here. These are just two ways to get secrets from Connect. Per the docs, you can also use curl, as in this example here. And in your applications, you can use one of our various language, SDKs, or plugins to also get access to your secrets. For full details and documentation, visit developer.onepassword.com. Thanks for watching.